So with all the background that you receive, right. you feel like it prepared you for this season by you open up this company. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Because, um, you know, I've been in healthcare over 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. And so um, just hearing the stories, just hearing the backgrounds, just hearing the sadness um, and people that I've, you know, come into contact with mm -hmm. about missing those family functions, okay. you know, missing that infusion, okay. missing that physical therapy, you know, um, not able to make it to the airport okay. or their family's not trusting, you know, the other options for transportation. Like Uber and Lyft? Yes. Okay. And, you know, um, then their family members don't have to, uh, able to take them busy working. Something came up, emergency. Then who is there to take care of them? Who is there to transport them where they need to go? And that's where I come in at. A trusted, a safe, reliable, door-to-door -door transportation service, friendly face, on time, every time. Okay. You getting the same people, you know. Okay. Um, you know who coming to, to pick you up, you know? You can build like a bond. Yes. It's just not it's just not like the right. it, it, it's not just like a little mm -hmm. over town, you just making sure this person is good. Yes. I won't say no hospice. Right. Because hospice no, no, is no, like no. a negative term. No, 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 no. But yeah. but the person that catering to that person. It's hospitalization. So, okay, okay, correct me. Yes, hospitalization because we want to give them that southern hospitality that um and no honk in the horn. We're going to the door. Not such as a miss, miss, Mr. or Mrs. Okay. We announce ourselves. Okay. Do you need help? You know, assist. It's not, you know, we're not treating our clients, our patients like a number. Mm. You matter. And that will be expressed and you will feel that each time that you interact with my team. Okay. You know? Okay. Um, it seems like you call my passion. <laughs> we ain't going to say little passion. We're going to say passion. Baby. A lot of passion, a lot of passion, a lot of passion for people, a lot of passion for anything I do, you know, and um, just just the love, just the love for people and putting that smile on their face. You never know what the smallest thing that you can do or say to a person that just lights their whole world up, mm -hmm. you know. And they remember that. That's true. They remember that's that. True. And that's, that's the effect that you, I want you matter transportation to have on the community and the people that we interact with. Okay, okay. You also said something within 50, you said 55 mm -hmm. and older. You know, that we, gonna, we ain't going to call them old. We're going to call them and seasonal folks. That's right. Season, they, they got a little season. Yeah. I hope lemon pepper because we love lemon pepper. Uh, <laughs> Me too. But other people don't like lemon pepper. But, you know, Cajun spice. Everybody Garlic got some, type of, some yeah. type of spice. Yes. So, but you said you also want to serve the yes. disability. Right. Yes. Because, um... Even still in that field that I was in, you know, um, everybody's not um, able to walk, you know, okay, okay. everybody's not able to. Um, and then, you know, they may not be feeling well or they may have just had a surgery That's or something, maybe in a wheelchair. That's um, and then um, so I wanted to, to not just be 55 and older, but actually persons with disability because it's still a part of my passion to help people and i wanted to also focus on that um that group of people so what 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 so the, uh, so this is a driving service mm -hmm. correct yes so what type of um challenges you see uh, that you have to encounter at oh, this moment wow. a lot of challenges a lot of challenges transportation itself is a challenge you know okay. um there's so many options out there, but, um, you know, what sets us apart is that um, we're certified and trained. Okay. Uh, you so know, when you say certified and trained, what, 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 can you can you let the people course. know what you mean by that? Yes. So we're AED CPR uh, certified. Um, we have our past certificates in training. Um, we have our defensive driving um, classes that everyone has to take okay. because I want them to always be equipped and up to date on things that are going on, things new, um, things that come out. 
you know, as far as driving and things that's going on. So they can be aware when they're driving mm -hmm. um, and interacting that we're still being cautious and on our uh, P's and Q's on everything that's going around. Okay. Because okay. that's part of our safety. Okay. So you got safety. You got um, constant background checks. Okay. Constant drug testing. Okay. That's um, a big one. Uh, constant um, uh, driving records mm -hmm. checked. Okay. So um, these are these are people that are constantly being monitored and not just put behind a vehicle to take you far and there. Oh, that, you. <laughs> Listen, people, mm -hmm. you better get where you matter. But we ain't going to let her off the hook yet. <laughs> Not yet. Because we still got some information that we need from her. Mm -hmm. So, by you owning a business, mm -hmm. what, type of uh, what type of challenges that you had to face or uh, encounter right. as a person that's owning a business? Oh, yeah. Mentally. Oh, it's it's a lot of work mentally. I mean, physically, emotionally, um, because you know, first you can't go in blinded. Okay. Do your research. Okay. Know what you're getting yourself into. Okay. Um, and I mean, to each your song, uh, but it ain't always best to get in something for the money.